What if the next pandemic isn't new, but ancient? Scientists just discovered 30,000 year old viruses frozen in Arctic ice, and they're still alive. As Earth's permafrost melts, these prehistoric pathogens are waking up. Some have already infected organisms in labs. You're right to be alarmed. What's trapped in melting ice could be the most overlooked threat of climate change. In 2014, French scientists revived pithovirus from Siberian permafrost. After 30,000 years frozen, it immediately became infectious again. This wasn't a fluke. Researchers have since awakened four more prehistoric viruses from the same samples. Molivirus, Pandora virus, Megavirus, and Mamavirus. All still infectious after millennia. Permafrost covers nearly 24% of the Northern Hemisphere. This frozen ground contains millions of microbes per gram, many from before humans existed. In the last 15 years, Arctic ice has declined by over 13% per decade. This accelerating melt is releasing pathogens that haven't seen sunlight for thousands of years. These aren't just frozen microbes. Scientists have found woolly mammoths, ancient plants, and even prehistoric humans preserved with their DNA intact. The threats are already here. In 2016, a Siberian anthrax outbreak infected dozens of people and killed a child when unusual heat thawed a 75-year-old reindeer carcass. What makes scientists nervous isn't what we've already found. It's what else might be waiting in those frozen archives. Ice preserves microbes remarkably well, acting like a natural deep freezer. Exactly. If a 75-year-old reindeer can release deadly disease, what might be lurking in ice that's thousands or even hundreds of thousands of years old. The viruses scientists have revived so far mostly infect amoebas, not humans. But they've proven a critical point. Viruses can remain perfectly preserved in ice for millennia. What's alarming is the diversity. A single gram of permafrost can contain thousands of distinct viral populations. Most have never been studied or classified. The deeper the ice, the older the threats. Researchers analysing Canadian permafrost dated to 700,000 years ago found genetic material from dozens of viral families, including relatives of modern human pathogens. These ancient viruses aren't just viable, some are more resilient than their modern counterparts, having evolved unique survival mechanisms for extreme cold. Arctic warming is now occurring twice as fast as the global average, as deeper permafrost layers thaw, older and potentially more dangerous microbes emerge. Scientists have even extracted intact 1918 Spanish flu virus from Alaskan permafrost, the very same virus that killed 50 to 100 million people worldwide. The greatest concern comes from giant viruses, a recently discovered category thousands of times larger than typical viruses. Their complex genetic makeup allows them to potentially infect multiple hosts and resist environmental challenges. These giants are ancient. Evolutionary analysts suggest they've existed since before animals evolved. Some contain genes never seen in any other life form on Earth. Climate models predict that up to 70% of surface permafrost could melt by 2100. Each thawed meter releases microbes unseen since prehistoric times. What's particularly disturbing is how meltwater carries these viruses. Researchers found that viruses from melting glaciers can travel over 1,000 kilometers in meltwater, potentially spreading prehistoric pathogens far beyond the Arctic. Oh. Yes, that's the question everyone is asking. Could these ancient viruses infect modern humans? Well, unfortunately, the evidence suggests some definitely could. Viruses jump between species constantly. COVID-19, HIV and influenza all originated this way. Ancient viruses represent an entirely new reservoir of potential crossover pathogens. What makes this threat unique is our complete lack of immunity. Modern humans have never been exposed to these prehistoric pathogens. 
RNA viruses like influenza mutate rapidly, making them notorious for jumping between species. But DNA viruses, which include many found in permafrost, can be even more dangerous due to their stability and complexity. The areas warming fastest are also experiencing increased human activity. Mining, drilling and construction in Arctic regions disturb permafrost, potentially releasing trapped pathogens before scientists can even identify them. Arctic indigenous communities face the highest risk. They live directly above thawing permafrost and would be the first exposed to emerging pathogens. Scientists have identified several mechanisms for how these viruses could reach human populations. Thawed animal carcasses, contaminated water supplies, and even dust storms carrying viral particles from dried out permafrost. The scientific community takes these threats seriously. Permafrost samples are handled under the same biosafety protocols used for Ebola and other known dangerous pathogens. In 2021, researchers identified fragments of genetic material from 33 viruses in ice cores from the Tibetan Plateau. 28 of them were completely novel, having survived in ice for up to 15,000 years. A particular concern is the possible release of ancient deadly viral hemorrhagic fevers. Modern versions, like Ebola, kill up to 90% of infected people. Prehistoric variants could potentially be even more virulent. There is some good news. Modern medicine gives us advantages our ancestors lacked. Rapid genomic sequencing, advanced vaccines, and antiviral medications could help contain an outbreak. Global monitoring systems are being established in Arctic regions, creating an early warning network for emerging pathogens from thawing permafrost. Some scientists propose creating cold storage biobanks to preserve samples of permafrost microbes before they're lost to warming, potentially containing valuable genetic information and allowing for preparation against possible threats. You're right to remain cautious. While a permafrost pandemic isn't inevitable, the risk increases with every degree of warming. Ancient ice is melting faster than at any point in human history. Earth's melting ice is revealing a microbial past we're only beginning to understand, both scientific treasure and potential threat. The best protection is twofold. Studying what's emerging from the ice and addressing climate change to slow the melt of these ancient repositories. Yeah, perhaps next time we'll visit somewhere tropical instead. Much safer, probably.